As the RAF celebrates its centenary year, the service continues to add new platforms to its fleet. One such platform here behind us is the Sky Guardian, which when in RAF service will be known as the Protector. Today at RAF Fairford, the Protector made a transatlantic flight from America to the UK, landing here at RAF Fairford for the first time. Prior to the platform landing here at Fairford, Air Marshal Young spoke about how the RAF has worked for many years hand in hand with General Atomics on the development of the aircraft. The game changing element in terms of capability uh, that it's being developed as uh, the world's first certifiable remotely piloted air system. Um, that's not a given. We've got to work hard to actually certify it through the Military Aviation Authority, but that is indeed what it's being designed to do, and that is indeed what our plan is to do exactly that. I've had a team of four engineers um, embedded in the plant in California alongside General Atomic Engineers for the past four years. Under this unique partnership, the aircraft has been designed to the same stringent airworthiness requirements as manned aircraft and the requirement is placed on us by our frontline customer is to certify the aircraft through the Military Aviation Authority. The protector is set to replace the Reaper when it enters service and before the briefing Young said that the protector was effectively a Reaper on steroids. 31 Squadron will be in charge of piloting the aircraft but where the aircraft will be based and when they actually will enter service is still to be announced by the Ministry of Defence.